Good day everybody and welcome to part 5 video of dynamic function exchange with Zinc Ultra Scale Plus. The title of this part is Standalone Software Invites. These videos are in part supported by Blickfeld Company. This is a company here in Munich which creates LiDARs. In the previous videos, we went through the partial reconfiguration flow with Vivado 2. We created an example project and then we did all of the steps needed for partial reconfiguration and at the end we generated the beta streams. Now in this video, we will look at the output of our partial reconfiguration flow with Vivado. We will look what sort of outputs Vivado has produced. And then we continue with the rest of our project, which is mainly the standalone software that we want to write so that we can partially reconfigure any of our reconfigurable partitions. Let's go to Vivado project. This is the Vivado project we created. You are familiar with right now. Here we have basically the configuration that we are using, we have basically three different reconfigurable partitions and for each of the reconfigurable partitions, we have two different modules. We have eight configurations, basically all of the possible com combination of reconfigurable modules on our reconfigurable partition. So it's two multiplied by two, multiplied by two, total possible eight configuration. When I press the generate beta stream, Vivado starts producing the partial beta streams required for all of these possible configurations. For config one, the name of the run is implement one. This is a default name. For config two, the name of the run is child ln one po. It's uh, very similar to the name that we have selected for the config. The name of our config is config2 ln1po. This is a configuration in which I have natural logarithm in the first reconfigurable partition, count by one in the second reconfigurable partition, and to the power of four in the third reconfigurable partition. And now if I look at my Vivado project, inside the runs I have a folder for implement for this for this run then for each of these guys I also have folders for example for child ln one po child ln one po I have another folder here now if if you look at these folders inside the folders basically you can find the beta streams that you can use for partial reconfiguration if I go back to implement one then I have this top.bit file it is 18.4 megabytes and this is the first bit stream that you can put on your PL when you put this bit stream on your PL a complete design starts running on your PL the design contains natural logarithm count by one and multiplication and also all of the other logics that we have the DMA engines everything else imagine I program this uh, top.bit file into PL and basically now I am running this configuration. I want for the reconfigurable partition which contains our XI streaming IP to switch the functionality from multiplication to the power of four. I want to reprogram that reconfigurable partition and tell him, hey, put the XI stream IP that performs to the power of four instead of this guy. So I want to switch from this guy to this guy. So imagine I'm here in my config one, ln one mult. I want to go to ln one po. I need to program the um, partial bit stream that we have for the po into that reconfigurable partition. So where do I find that partial, partial bit stream? If I look, at my Vivado project, I should be able to find it inside child ln1po. So if I look here, 
child lm1 po is this guy this guy what's the difference between these two here we have the mult and here we have the po if i look inside child lm1 po folder here in my vivado project then i will find three beta streams these beta streams they are small they have a small size like 2.3 megabytes 800 kilobytes 500 kilobytes these are partial bit streams they they are not for configuring the whole pl but each of these guys are for configuring their respective reconfigurable partition i want to switch from mult to po so all i need to do is to use this bit stream here simple stream ip this is a bit stream for our streaming reconfigurable partition which can contain the po function i will use this beta stream and i will program that reconfigurable partition with this beta stream each of these beta streams are useful for switching the function of each of our reconfigurable partition imagine i have reconfigured the a streaming reconfigurable partition with the po function so basically right now i am in config 2 i want to dynamically change the function of my floating point reconfigurable partition i want my floating point reconfigurable partition to start calculating reciprocal for me instead of natural logarithm basically from config 2 i want to go to config 6 I'm in config 2. I have not uh, sketched that arrow. There are many arrows which can be sketched here. So basically, we are in this state. In config 2, ln 1 po, I want to go to config 6, recipe 1 po. I want to take the partial beta stream the, for the floating point reconfigurable partition from child recipe 1 po. I want to take this guy and program it into my PL so that basically i switch the functionality of my floating point reconfigurable partition from calculating natural logarithm to calculating reciprocal so as i described many other cases are possible we have in our deliverables in the sh folder we have a shell script is called copy beta streams and this guy is um, copying all of those needed beta streams from those vivado folders and putting them all inside the bits folder with a meaningful name so here is the result of that script being executed here i have one that bit this is the main beta stream. This is the first beta stream that gets loaded into PL. Then for configuration one, I have also three partial beta streams, one one, one LN, and one M. So one one is the partial beta stream for Axi Light part reconfigurable partition. One LN partial beta stream for the floating point reconfigurable partition. 1m partial beta stream for xi stream reconfigurable partition now imagine for example i am in configuration 2 ln1 po and for example i want to switch the function of my streaming partition from po to mult so all i need to do is to use the one underline m mult and that reconfigurable partition will be programmed with this beta stream and then I'm basically switching from here to here or let's imagine we are in config 8 config 8 is when I have reciprocal count by 5 and to the power of 4 on each of my reconfigurable partitions and now I want to for example switch from calculating reciprocal to calculating ln basically i want to switch from config 8 to config 4 all i need to do is to use this file config 4 ln 
and give it to Zill FPGA function and tell him program basically transfer this bit stream to the PL. These are the files that basically I put on my SD card and the PL that we have it has basically configuration states either it's in config one state or two or three four and based on the configuration state that it has and the um, sort of dynamic function that I want to have on each of my reconfigurable partitions then I can decide which of those bit streams should be transferred to the PL. Now I want to continue with my software flow. So I come here and I export basically the hardware. I need a file which describes the specification of my hardware to the software development tool, which is Vitis in this case. So I say export hardware, then I go, I go ahead with fixed um if you like you can include the beta stream i usually don't like i i like to have the beta stream as a completely separate file and add it use it whenever i want so pre-synthesis then obviously a name now for our case in our de deliverable folders we have this xsa folder and this is where i put the xsa file this is as i told you this is the file which contains the description of our hardware so I say finish. Now the XSA file is written and I am ready to run Vitis. I come here to tools, I say launch Vitis IDE and then from this point on basically we are continuing with the, within the Vitis environment to add our standalone application 